Local school resource officers are now patrolling in police cars with designs on them from the students they serve. Rainy weather has caused delays in a local trail project and one local jail is stepping up to provide better mental health care. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Hello, we're glad you could join us. I'm Mike Stedham. Katie Edwards has the evening off. Plain black and white police cars are being replaced with more colorful patrol vehicles sporting modern graphics and the school resource officers in Oxford unveiled today their new Yellow Jackets logos, which were designed by an Oxford High School senior. Oxford High School senior Audrey Saxon says she accepted the challenge last spring during one of her graphic design classes. They were asking our class to be able to design a car wrap for the cars, and there was only like a few people that were up to the task, and so I was one of them. And it took about maybe a week to design. And we had like photos of other different wraps, like Jacksonville's and Aniston's. And I came up with that. At the unveiling ceremony this morning, Oxford High Principal Seth Taylor said the idea for local designs on patrol cars came from the police department, which then asked for the school's help. And there were a couple of students who were interested, interested and, and Aubrey definitely stood out. She had very good product in her, in her design. Miss um, Wheeler was floored with her design and how good it looked. And, and after I looked at it later on in the year, I was floored. I mean, it was a phenomenal job by, by a young lady who puts a lot of time and effort in what she does. And she's very prideful of it and she's done a fantastic job. And we're just excited to, to be able to acknowledge her for this. Taylor says it's important for his students to be given the opportunities, such as this, to connect with their community. Our goal is to help people be successful in life, and we've got to have everybody involved in that. And in our cities, they're, they're tremendous resources. They reach out. And, and it's always good to, to have that connection with the municipality and the community. So um, it gives our, our students other opportunities that otherwise they would not have. And so for future success, it also plugs them in and gives them an opportunity one day to hopefully be a part of that municipality or the local business and industry. Several rainy days delayed progress in the Chief Ladiga Trail extension in Anniston this past month, but workers continued preparing the base of that trail's northern section. City officials say paving was scheduled to begin during the last week of September, but that was postponed because of rain and saturated site conditions. The contractor was able to get the paving back on track when the weather broke on the last few days of September. Meanwhile, a steel rebar reinforcement package has been delivered in preparation for the upcoming bridge construction over Cane Creek. Officials also say the grading operations along Whiteside Drive have started and that roadbed has been constructed. The grading will bring the trail bed to its planned elevation and improve the drainage along that section. The six and a half mile Chief Ladaga Trail extension will connect Michael Tucker Park to the Amtrak station in downtown Anniston. It's scheduled to be opened by next spring. When we return, a local sheriff's office is taking part in a project to improve mental health treatment for its prisoners. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. Barrett Body Shop has moved to its new location on Highway 431 in Alexandria. Barrett has been delivering top-notch collision repair in Calhoun County since 2000. 
Our skilled team restores your vehicle to pre-accident condition with a commitment to quality and safety. Choose Barrett Body Shop for honest, reliable service. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Cleburne County Sheriff John Daniel says his jail has been chosen to participate in a project designed to reduce the number of individuals with mental illnesses in jails by connecting them with appropriate care and services. Called the Stepping Up Initiative, this program was launched by the National Association of Counties, the American Psychiatric Association Foundation, and the Council of State Governments Justice Center. Daniel says that his office has partnered with Highland Health Systems to find a case manager to run this local program. A new 200,000 gallon water tower is being planned to promote more commercial development at McClellan. The Anderson City Council heard the proposal this week from Ed Turner, the director of the city's Water Works and Sewer Board. Turner says that plans have been made for the tank to be built on Compass Hill behind Lowe's. The height of that tower, at more than 1,000 feet, will allow it to serve parts of the former Army base that currently have no water connections. The total cost is estimated to be about $5 million, and Turner says his board is working with the city and with the McClellan Development Authority to find federal funds to cover some or all of that amount. When we come back, downtown streets will soon be full of the sounds of jazz next weekend. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. Getting my car serviced is easier than ever with Buster Miles Automotive Group in Cleburne and Calhoun County. They pick up my car, service it, and deliver it back. Convenient, efficient, and top quality. Schedule your service today and see why Buster Miles Automotive Group is the smart choice. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. Downtown Anniston will present its 2024 Jazz and Arts Festival next weekend at the City Market on the corner of West 11th Street and Moore Avenue. The festival kicks off on Friday, October the 11th from 6 to 10 p.m., with a low country boil and the sounds of the Swoop Jazz Band from Gadsden. Tickets are required for this event and they're available through the city's Main Street office. The main festival will be next Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That free event will feature live jazz music and displays by local artists. The festival proceeds will be going to Chiha Creative Arts a nonprofit arts education program in Anniston. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. Thanks for watching us today. You can find us here every weeknight on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and now on Rumble. Just go to the platform of your choice and watch our coverage whenever it's convenient for you. We'll see you back here Friday for your news on your schedule.